it's been a while since I have been on here. Um, today we are making our protection barrier of the month. I have been really, really just going through a lot, y'all. So, what I have is some dragon's blood incense going. And my red candle. So, we're going to get started with this just immediately. And I'll do updates as I'm going through each item. Okay, make sure y'all can see. salt first because salt will be my base to hold the mixture taken care of so like I haven't gone through a lot y'all doing a lot of spell work lately I will do a full updated video but today we're just doing this mixture and did you like my intro by the way I know it was amazing all right first I'm gonna go ahead and put in the cleansing elements so I got some sage here I got red and white sage so I'm gonna go ahead and break this down Sage is also used, you know, for protection. So, um, if you're ever wondering, because I know there's a lot of newbies now. I've been doing this for 12 years, y'all. 12 years. I used to do a, a similar mix mixture like this at my parents' house behind my back. I didn't have all these ingredients, but I still kind of did the same thing. Bring this up. This is just going around an apartment complex, so I'm going to go ahead and add one more. Actually, you know what? Why not? So I might not lose sage now. That's okay, because um, I really need this to put. You know this mixture to work anyway. He's the work it's magic for me. Even though I'm the one doing the energy work, but it's okay, you know what I mean. I'm just venting. Alright, so now I'm going to a chant. looks like so far. Put my sage and salt in there. Alright. Oh, let's see. Next I'm going to be adding in rosemary for the prosperity effect, the protection, and the cleansing because we need a lot of that. So I'm just going to take some of this rosemary. Mm. Rosemary is very good for protection. <clears throat> it's really good for cleansing. It's good for meditation. It is really good for, um, you know, to focus. It helps you focus because it's from the earth. It helps ground you. So, um, rosemary has a lot of all-purpose methods. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and chant this. Thank you. 
feeling it tonight. I've been like doing a lot of spell work lately, so now when I go to do something, I can feel it like a lot more. Like over the years, your abilities and magic and your powers just grow. So you know, look how pretty that is. Look, I don't want to look how pretty. Right. So, got the rosemary. Now I'm going to add some, and this will not, this is, you know, everyone has their own thing or whatnot, but um, I'm going to be adding some chili powder because being a witch, you know, you have some people that try to send stuff your way. Y'all saw that, right? It's okay. Give me one second to clean this up. I'm back. I didn't clean up all the way, but anyway, chili powder. You know, I need to add this in here because being a witch, you have a lot of energy vampires, a lot of manipulators, a lot of people that like to really just make you mad. And chili powder is really good for deflecting and to blind your enemies. So that way they don't see what you're doing or your house. So your household is safe. All right, so that's what I'm gonna enchant it for, basically, is to deflect, because the chili powder is hot. If you get in your eyes, they're gonna burn. So basically this is to, if anyone tries to get across my barriers, they will be burned because this is an element of fire right here. All right, let me go ahead and chant this. I did a smaller batch last time, but y'all, if y'all just only knew. Alright, look how pretty this is looking. Look, look how pretty. Oh, and by the way, I'm drinking French vanilla coffee. Because I got more spells to do later, so I'm not really going to go to sleep. Excuse me. So next I am adding paprika. <laughs> paprika is a really good huh, deflection and revenge um, aspect um, to burn away issues, old habits, addictions, you know. I'm, okay, I can't get this open. Oh, I need a knife. Shouldn't need a knife. Well, I'm just not strong. Um, we're adding this in here for to burn away all distractions, all bad influences, and all liars, and all witches that are not going to be in me and my husband's life. So, and basically just getting rid of the people that don't need to be here. So, we're going to do less like so. Alright, um, I'm gonna go ahead and add some more salt. 
that's what my gut's telling me. This is my blessed salt. The first salt I put in was not even blessed. I feel to add more salt, so I'm gonna add some more. Go ahead and chant that, even though it's already blessed. There's a lot of different protection methods, <clears throat> like recently, oh, which will be posted on my channel soon, I'm still editing, I posted a, um, there's a lot of different forms of protection. I did a kind of a three spell in one take, I guess you can say, I did a white coconut candle, and I did that one, a cleansing and an unbreaking candle spell. And then I also did a act double action, basically. I got a red cinnamon candle, and he chanted it for a return to cinder and protection spell. So, like, you're going to see that soon on my channel. You're probably either going to see it before this one or after this one. I don't know. I haven't decided. But, yeah. All right. <sighs> oh, I need one thing that I haven't gotten. Give me a second. Okay, I need a sweet minute element in here. I actually need two of them. I'm going to add some sugar in here, just plain white sugar. Okay. This is to sweeten up my house, basically. Because it's getting attitude around here lately. So I'm going to enchant intention wise, like so. Next, I'm adding brown, light brown sugar. And if you watched my first protection barrier um, video, which YouTube tried flagging it, and then I got it taken care of because there was nothing inappropriate to say in here. All I know is that. This is not inappropriate to say, but brown sugar and witchcraft, if you're a witch, is really good for sex magic. And also to bring friendships closer and to bring family closer. So I'm enchanting it for me and my husband's love. And also the family that lives with us are all love to be amplified. You know, basically like all of our family here, we all get closer and our family and friendship. And then me and my husband get closer um, with our love. So I'm about to go ahead and enchant like so.
This is a big batch this time, y'all. big this batch is today. Now that I'm done with that, our next goal is to add some different elements in here. Um, <clears throat> Alright, so I'm going to add some coffee in here. Coffee is really good for energizing. You know it actually helps your spells to work faster. So I'm all I'm enchanting this for is to enhance this protection. All right, so we're gonna enchant and pray like so. Next, I'm going to add some graveyard dirt. And the reason I'm adding this, and I'm actually out now, I'm on a graveyard dirt. Which I might want to put some back because I have a spell to do next week and I'm using some of this for because I don't feel to use that much. Shit, I'm getting everywhere. Alright, I have a little bit. All right, the reason I'm adding this is to bring an end to any negative habits, any negative attitudes, any negative patterns in my house. So we're going to go ahead and chant and pray like so. Cinnamon, and I am adding this entire thing of cinnamon. I literally bought it at Walmart just for this video. Because of how much shit is going on spiritually for us, too. And also, like I said in my last video, cinnamon is really good to keep away ants if you have ants. And I didn't come up with that on my own. Um, my aunt taught me some of this. Um, so that's really good. So I'm going to enchant that for an extra boost of protection because we're bringing the element of fire now. To um, Basically, this is going to be for that return to cinder energy. All right, so that's what we're enchanting and praying for. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Y'all saw that. Just trying to just throw some cinnamon in there. Basically, is it? And there's my batch. 
I'm going to set this right here on top because I had to use a Keurig thing up here. And I felt to use just a red plain birthday candle. And I don't know why, but this is just what I felt. And all I'm gonna do is take some frankincense and myrrh oil because my deities are the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Dip some of this in there. Rub it in. And usually I would use a taper candle or a tea light candle, but today I'm just going with my gut. And that's weird because I don't like using breathy candles. Even though it's faster spells, but, but yeah. So, I'm just, I feel just to put it right here. I'm going to eat chant one more time. And that is it for this video. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I'm so glad to be back. Um, I'm going to be taking my time getting back. I still have to make an update video for you guys. So I thank you so much for being patient while I've been gone these three months. I really needed a break anyway. Um, <clears throat> but this is my property protection mix again. So I'm going to put probably episode two or something. But anyway, so look at this before I let you go. Okay, I gotta clean up my deep freezer now. I had to use a Keurig for my incense. And then just have it right there. But anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time, and bless it be.